Generally, when you're working with Java, you'll need to declare variables for many things, from making your life easier or making sure you don't have to type that huge sentence again. Variables are great, but have you ever wondered how you would declare a variable to be used on a global scale? I'm Drew Hutton, also known as Drago2308, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. In this tutorial, you'll need a few things. These things include some knowledge of coding in Java and the Android Development Kit, or Android Studio, if you're up to date. I will be using Android Studio in this tutorial for reference. Alright, let's get started. Go ahead and make a new class in your already existing project. If you haven't created a project already, go ahead and make one. We shall name this class appropriately. Global should do. Once the class is made, it should look something like public class globals with empty parentheses. Now starts the fun of coding. Within the empty parentheses, we need to declare a variable that is known as the mother of global variables, and we need to name it instance with the type equal to the class name. Now below that, declare the variable you want to be global. I personally use global variables in everything when making apps. For this demonstration, I will use an integer variable with the name of test. Also to take notice of the private keyword to make sure that these variables can only be changed from within the class. Don't worry, this won't change the effectiveness of how the global variables work. Next, we make a public method for globals, with double empty parentheses, to restrict access directly to the class. Somehow, oh, don't ask me. Next, we need to make a method for setting your variable, typically named set with all lowercase, then the variable with one uppercase to signify the space. In this case, it is named set test, with parentheses filled with a makeshift variable name, to be used in the method. This variable is a one-time use, so it can be literally one letter. Make sure the variable is set to the same type as the one defined. For example, this one variable is an integer because it was declared that way in the beginning. In this case, it is named t. Now within the method, we need to write a simple modifier to the variable given above. We first call the variable with globals.test, then make it equal to t. I'll cover more on how this works later in the tutorial. The next method is equally as important than the last. This one is to get the value of the variable. So much like the last one, we declare the method with a public. But instead of returning a void value, we want it to return an integer or the type of whatever variable you are working with. So it should look like public int get test with empty smooth parentheses and soon to be filled curved parentheses. Inside this method, all we have to write is a return statement. This return statement should return the value of the integer test. So it should read return globals.test. It's that easy. Now for the most crucial part of the globals method. This method is called every time you request a global variable and acts as a medium between the variables and your other classes. This one I can't explain efficiently, so I'll post it on the screen so you can observe it, or copy it. It uses the instance variable that we made earlier and makes sure it's up to date with globals. Generally, it keeps everything synchronized. Once you have done that, you have completed what you need to do in this class. Now let's move back to the main activity to give her a shot. But first off, you have to do something before you go calling this variable. You will require making a small variable that should be declared before your onCreate method. This variable should read globals g is equal to globals.getInstance empty parentheses. This is required in each class you intend to use the global variables in. Now to set a variable, we would usually do it in the onCreate method. First we call the globals class by using g, then a dot, 
then the method. In this case, it is g dot set test with the parentheses to be whatever the variable is set to. We will set it to 42. Now whenever we need to call the variable, we need to assign it to a direct variable. Where the variable is equal to the get test method, it should read something like int test is equal to g dot get test with empty parentheses. And that about covers all the basics of global variables. Remember that they can be any type and can be called from any class with ease. Have fun with global variables. If you enjoyed this tutorial and thought it was of use to you, I could definitely benefit from a like. If you want more, be sure to subscribe to my channel for the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.